What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Jenison, Michigan at American Living and we are currently standing inside of the Dunes View. So let me get you outside and I'll tell you all about it. All right, so this is another one by Ritzcraft. It's actually part of their Benchmark series. This one is a three bedroom, three bath chalet. Of course, as we're going to be walking through it today, the third bedroom and third bathroom aren't set up, uh, but I will point it out as far as where it's at. Now this home in total is approximately 1,830 square feet with 1,344 square feet on the first floor. And then you have that additional 486 square feet uh, on the second floor where that third bedroom and third bathroom would be. So as we're going to be touring it today for the home only, it's approximately $268,000. And then you would have like site prep and all that type of stuff. But just keep that in mind, I'm not a salesman nor affiliated with any of the homes that I do showcase here on the channel. But if you want any of the information that I do obtain, you can find that in the description or over at timothyplivingston.com. Now I like it because it's got like this modern farmhouse look to it. You got the nice white siding everywhere and then the black framed windows. And then coming around to the back, you get a good picture of that second level and the great big window that's up there. And then coming around to the side, it gets a little tight over here. Let's see if we can get over here and let you check it out. But it does have a side door over here. So if you wanted a garage, you could always attach your garage over here off to the side. And I think that would look really good. But a few more windows over here. Yeah. And then coming up onto the porch, great big space up here. You have these nice, beautiful columns. And again, like a board and batten siding up here with the black frame windows on the front. But plenty of room, definitely porch swing worthy, maybe some rocking chairs. I like the plants that they went with here. I think some hanging plants would probably look pretty good too. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. And without further ado, let's get inside. All right, so when you first walk in, this is the view that you were greeted with. And it is gorgeous. I mean, perfect lake house, perfect beach house, mountain retreat, I mean, you name it. So I'll go ahead and turn you around real quick and let you check out the entrance. So this is your front door right here, and you have all of these windows going all the way around the home. And then it's like a two-story open to above living space down here you got that window up there and then the floors you have vinyl plank floors i don't know if they go all the way throughout the home or if there's carpet in the bedrooms but they go through a good bit of the home so panning you around a little bit we'll go ahead and start right here in the living room so you do have this nice gas fireplace right here again more windows on either side and then look how the fireplace surround kind of works its way up and then it transitions into the ceiling. That's pretty cool. But you do have a nice wooden mantle up here. I think that looks really sharp. Great spot to mount a TV if you wanted to put a TV up there. And then plenty of room for your furniture. And then off of that, you have your dining room. Love the light fixture. I think that looks really sharp. Hanging all the way down over the top of your kitchen table, dining room table. And then from there, you transition into your kitchen. You have this nice island right here, beautiful countertops. And the island itself is a gray which kind of plays off of the white cabinets of the rest of the home. Got a little trash can pull out right here. Some nice big pot and pan drawers, all soft clothes. And then you have these big old lights hanging down over the top of your island too, and several spots for some seats. And then from there, just massive amounts of cabinetry, a lot of pullouts in here, soft clothes pullouts. That's something that we don't see very often. Most of the time they'll have all the soft clothes cabinets and drawers and then 
you'll go to pull one of the pullouts and they bang back up against the thing because they're not soft closed. So you do have your stove and your microwave and then the tile surround back here, really pretty looking. A little lazy Susan. And then you have your dishwasher, your sink looking out into your side yard and you have a pennant light hanging down over the top of the sink also. And then you have a space for your refrigerator right next to that. Man. I like it. And then working our way down the hall, this would be the stairwell down into your basement. If you had a basement, if you didn't have a basement and you just had a crawl space, then, you know, extra storage. All right. So it does have carpet back here in the bedrooms. Of course, that's something that you can uh, always continue running the wood, the vinyl plank floors if you wanted to. So this is the first of the three bedrooms. Again, another big window in here. And then inside the closet. And then coming out of there, crossing the hall, this is where your side door is, and it is your utility room with washer dryer hookups. And then another storage closet in here. And then at the end of the hall to the right, you have your first full bathroom. You got the single vanity right there, your vanity light, your toilet, and then you have a shower and tub combo. I like this home. It feels very open and airy. I like it. <laughs> this is kind of weird. Anyway, into the master bedroom. Great big windows right here. You have a transom window up over the top of the bed. And then right off of that, you do have an ensuite. And I feel like these doorways are a little bit larger too, which is nice. So double vanity with your vanity lights. They went with a darker wood in here. Still soft clothes though. And then back behind us, you do have your shower. It's got a nice tile surround. And we got a couple, got a couple doors in here. So this is a closet. I don't know if this would be a, a bedroom closet or if that would, because I haven't seen any spot for the furnace or water heater. So that could be that. And then this could be your, your bedroom closet. Or maybe you would put your furnace and water heater down in the basement. And then you would just have this closet and then the closet back behind us. And then you do have a toilet over here in the corner, with the wood shelf up above it. And then we still have to go upstairs, so let's work our way back towards the living room and we'll get up the stairs. Now, like I said, up here is unfinished, but this would be where your third bedroom and the third bathroom would be. We'll go ahead and take it all in from up here. Just a fun little hangout spot. And honestly, if this is going to be like, this would be like some type of vacation home. You know what I mean? So I would turn this personally, this would have like a pool table, maybe like some type of little mini bar or just a little place to hang out, maybe a little theater room. But if you didn't want that and you just wanted the third bedroom and the third bath, uh, that would go up here also. So, 
But let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or American Living, I'll leave that information for you in the description. Or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can find this one and all the other homes that we've toured across the country and see if they're built in your area. Now that we've spent a little bit of time together, I feel like you're my friend. So go ahead and do me a favor and click on this video so we can meet again. Thank you so much for hanging out. My name is Timothy. I will see your beautiful face in the next one.